Let's go on to C3. So C3, again, you're going to see a lot of the same thing with these guys. They have a lot of tr similar trends. So this guy right here, if you look, again, this is C3 through C6. And again, this guy has these little superior articulating processes with facets. It has the spinous process, but what's different about this one, if you notice we have it in yellow here, this is actually called the bifid spinous process. And so what helps to identify this one is that this, when, the, when you have this bifid spinous process, that identifies that it's C3 all the way down to C6. Okay, so again, bifid spinous process. This is the body, or the centrum, they also can call it that. And again, if you notice right there, there's your transverse process right there with the transverse foramen. And again, there's the other transverse process with the transverse foramen. And then here's your vertebral foramen right there. Okay, and again, you could technically say here, here's my lamina, and then here is my pedicles. Oh, and then one, one more thing, uh, uh, inferior articulating processes with facets right there. Okay, so that's C3 through C6. C7 is actually gonna be very, very specific, because if you notice the little knob right there, that little knob, this is actually called the vertebra prominence. This is actually what you feel in the back of your neck when you feel a little knob there. So this denotes that it's C7, the last cervical vertebrae here. So C7 is this vertebra prominence. And again, if you look here, these things right here, these are the superior articulating processes with facets. Sometimes people will look at this and think, oh, my, it's a lumbar vertebrae. No, it's not. I'm sorry, a thoracic vertebrae. And then, but the re how you can tell that is it has three holes. Only the cervical vertebrae have the transverse foramen, right? So again, this is the transverse foramen, transverse foramen, transverse process, transverse process, body or centrum, superior articulating processes with facets. And again, vertebra prominence, spinous process. If I flip it over, we'll hit the inferior side. Inferior side here is going to be the inferior articulating process with facets. And again, inferior articulating process with facets there. All right? And again, vertebra foramen, where the spinal cord runs through. All right, that covers C7.